Hello walkers and welcome to Red Rocks Amphitheater and Park in Denver, Colorado. This is going to be probably a shorter walk just because my battery is so low. I've used up my external and uh, now we've got about 80% left on the GoPro. So we'll see how long it lasts. Also, I have no idea what to expect here. I mean, I've been to the theater 20 some odd years ago saw some music, but I have no idea where the trails go or what there is to explore here. So like usual, we will uh, find out as we go. Cross back over here and uh, we'll do some walking. The, the wind, it is windy, so I apologize for that. Not much I can do other than to shelter the microphone when that comes up. My name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker. You are a virtual travel guide today. Not much of a guide because I don't know that much about it. But we're going to go see the amphitheater here and hopefully see some great views and see uh, some awesome rocks and stuff. Super cool. You can see why it's called Red Rocks Amphitheater. And I have been to a show here in the 90s, last time I was here, and it was awesome. It was super cool. It's such a great venue. You can see that they've gotten a fair amount of snow up here recently, but it's gotten back up to 45, which I think is 10 degrees Celsius. It's about three o'clock, a little after, late February in Denver, Colorado. This area is closed, but super cool geologic features here and amazing views that we'll see in a little bit. <clears throat> uh, there's, I don't think there's any entrance fee. I didn't pay an entrance fee. We'll see if I get a ticket or something, but it's closed at one hour after sunset, no entry to the park after 6 p.m. And it opens up again at one hour before sunset. So keep those things in mind. And we're just gonna walk around and see what kind of trails and stuff we can find. I think that's I-70 in the distance. Although it might be 470 if you're into road numbers and that sort of thing. So I think the stage is kind of underneath that big outcrop behind the ridge. <clears throat> and we're just, I guess we'll go to the amphitheater first. It is a bright day, a bright sunny day. Um, give us a like, a thumbs up and leave a comment i love comments tell us the shows you've seen here i'm sure some of you have been here to see music uh happen you also have i think exercise classes in normal times in the amphitheater because there's all these sort of steps and stairs and stuff like that a bunch of trails around there's one over here a couple of them over here i have no idea where they go because i haven't looked at a map this is sort of a last minute thing because i had some extra time before sunset and I thought, why not take you guys on another walk? That's why I'm here. All right, I see a little map up here. We'll go take a look. I won't spend a whole lot of time at it, but you'll get to see the trail map at least. And uh, I smell some marijuana and uh, Maybe I'll get an idea of where to take you. I feel like maybe off to the left is just a viewpoint. But we'll see in a second. So uh, we are here. It looks like for South Lot and uh, Elevator Parkway. I can't really make heads or tails of that, but we're going to go up to the amphitheater first 
and look around up there. Maybe we'll come back down here and take a little walk. The snow is really soft and slushy because of the temperature. And I, let me look up the altitude here. Six thousand four hundred is what it's looking like. Feet, that is, not meters. Now, all these Coloradans tend to be super fit, it seems like, at least the ones I've seen today. And they probably have no problem with this. I'm huffing and puffing a little bit. <clears throat> Great views. Looking back at the city. Surprisingly busy. Look at these views. Awesome. Looks like I was totally wrong about where things are. I guess this is where you get refreshments during the concerts. As you can tell, uh, dogs are allowed uh, during non-event days. I'm going to guess that we won't be able to look down over the side. I mean, go down into the amphitheater here. Looks like it's blocked off. Oh. No wonder it's under construction. And you can see all these benches here are pretty cool. Oh, they got down there. I wonder uh, how that works. So all this is seating. Mm. You can see at night when all the city and the valley is lit up, the lights are amazing. 
and the acoustics are fantastic as well. people got down there. Everything's ostensibly blocked off. Maybe they just went down for the heck of it. Anyway, we will go find some trails. Looks like they're doing some work. So where those construction workers are is the roof of the stage and the stage is below. So even back here you've got an awesome view of the acts and performances. Maybe they came up that way. Seems odd to have the top blocked, but not the bottom. I'm going to go down here because it doesn't say you're not allowed. It just says don't ski or snowboard, which I think is a fair request. It is slippery though. I'm hoping I don't get down here and have to climb all the way back up to get out. We'll find out. Super cool amphitheater. Look at these guys. Man, you're gonna get some quads and some glutes doing that, I tell you what. I should look up the seating capacity for Red Rocks. And as I said, they do, do, they do have in the normal times some exercise classes that meet out here. They do stairs and that sort of thing probably an awesome place to do yoga in the morning. That looks extremely difficult. Love this place. <clears throat> But we're going to take the regular stairs because it has handrails. <coughs> Pardon me. I think it looks less, more dangerous in here. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll go over here. Ugh, smoking area. Again, I apologize for the wind. This will be cleared up here not too long due to the warmer temperatures. We'll take a look over here back up. You can see the stairs. Can't imagine people climb those stairs to get to the smoking area. I think that's hilarious if they make them do it. if I saw a fish show or a widespread panic show here. Thank you. 
more uh, refreshments during the show. <coughs> I don't know if there's restrictive seating. There must be, but maybe not. Maybe the first come, first serve. All right. So I think this goes down to the visitor center. And I figure we got 50% battery, so let's go for it. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to come back up or film coming back up. I'm definitely gonna be able to come back up, but um, you may not join me, but we'll go as far as we can. Let's see what happens. So there's all sorts of parking lots. As you can imagine, their parking up here is, during a concert, is pretty tricky. <clears throat> it's in the mountains, so there's not a lot of space in any way. And I think that you have premium spots up high and more access down low and even a couple miles away. I saw some overflow parking. But the views are spectacular. <laughs> if you're wondering why the sound cuts out every once in a while, it's because I'm turning my head to the right and the lavalier microphone is off to my left a little bit. It's on my left pocket. I didn't make a bad choice. I'm going down a lot of elevation. Looks like it was blocked off. We'll read the signs in a second. I don't like to poach like that, but I didn't see any signs that said no admittance. Just don't ski or snowboard. So I feel okay about that. Yeah, it says uh, skiing, sledding, and snowboarding not permitted. Watch your step, otherwise you're good. We'll go down here to the visitor center just to take a look. We won't go inside. <clears throat> Super cool geologic formations here. Even this ridgeback, what a lot of places would call hogsback type of mountain, is super cool. And of course, up in Boulder, they have the flat irons, which are also super cool. Somebody said something about roller skating down them in the 70s, maybe. Somebody made a comment about roller skates and the flat irons. I think it was a story they've been told. So it's not the visitor center, it's a trading post, which I assume means a store. <coughs> Excuse me. Guess I don't need to worry about we go here.
Shiprock Road. I don't know where that goes. Music Hall of Fame. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, man. Looks like a cool trail up there. Might have to go check that out here in a minute. Well, maybe we can get back up there. Like I said, every day is an exploration. Oh, sweet. Look at that. That is just super cool. Love it. <clears throat> I'm hoping to go to Garden of the Gods tomorrow, which is similar, but more, less music-y and more geology. Post Trail. We are here. The amphitheater is up there. And that's where I want to go. Let's do it. We're not going to do the whole trail, but maybe it'll lead us back up. I'd kind of like to get to that raised platform up there. Although we're at 40% battery, so I'm not sure we're going to make it. Well, I'll make it. You guys won't. Sorry. This is the south lot. <clears throat> Definitely icy conditions. Cool artwork there. Oh no. That is definitely closed off. Oh well. Still pretty cool. Due to construction, I guess. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, I can tell you what I'm not going to do is climb those stairs again. But we can take the road. Get some more views. <clears throat> Pardon me. You can tell it's getting a little late because the shadow is so long. Also, it's downhill. <coughs> Pardon me. So, I think I said it was 3 o'clock. It's closer to 3.30 when I started. It's about 3.53 now. And I've, one of the things I, one of the little things I thought about doing on these walks is telling you about my steps. Now, I've forgotten every single walk so far today to tell you the start and stop part of my steps because I have one of these Fitbit um, fitness trackers, the Yalta. And, uh, you know, hoping it'll sink here. There's no cell data up here. That's the situation. But when I started this walk, I was at 16,252. So I will try to remember to tell you if I can get a signal. Uh, there we go, something happened. And I'll let you know what the difference is. Love the light right about now. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Says I have four bars. Maybe my tracker's gone, gone dead or something. The battery. Oh well. Ooh, I think I can take this trail back up to that upper lot. Oh no, that's the one I came down. Hard pass.
Here's one of those other trails. Oh, the battery's gonna last for a while now. I mean, it's down to 26, but I'm impressed. Warmer temperatures help. Oh my gosh, these stairs. Guys, this is gonna be a trial, a bit of a test. Are you up for it? Set your incline to maximum. Slowing down. Oh, I gotta take a break. Well, right now, <clears throat> I'm at 24,656 for the day steps. Ooh. Not much of a climb, but that altitude, it's only 2,000 feet more than where I live, 2,500. Feels good though, feels good to be exercising. <laughs> I say after I've walked all day, but it does. <clears throat> I'm not much of a runner or a hardcore athlete. I usually bail out pretty early soon as it gets painful but I like the feeling afterwards I just don't like the feeling during
this video I thought was going to be kind of short because of the battery situation and because, well, I just didn't know the trails. I thought I was going to have to go up a big long roundabout trail to get anything interesting. But lo and behold, it's doing well. Look at that light. Awesome. Oh, that'd be a good thumbnail, don't you think? Kind of obsessed with thumbnails today. Makes a huge difference on how many people view. They measure click-through rate, so impressions divided by views. And I'm usually around 3 to 3.8%, which I think is pretty good. Um, it'd be awesome to be at 10%, but I don't think many channels get that high. A cool tunnel. From what I've read, anyway. You can just kind of see Denver out there in the distance. Not through the camera, I guess. It's an exposure thing, a wide-angle thing. So 36 minutes, 37 minutes, that's not too bad, huh? Good walk, guys. Hope you really cranked up that incline. Get maximum exercise. Awesome, and we'll finish up out here. Give us a like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. But really what I like are your comments. Tell us about your experiences here at Red Rocks Amphitheater. I'm sure some of you have seen some shows out here. Share your stories. I'd love to hear them. Uh, and just give us a shout. Hang in there, guys. I know it's been cold. It's been uh, pandemic-y. It's been politically unstable. But uh, this too shall pass as long as we keep at it, chugging along. We will see you again soon. Tell your friends. Tell your family. We'll mainly come back again. Until then. Keep on stepping.